Hello. In this video, we are going to use the results of an electrolysis experiment to indirectly compute the charge on an electron. In the electrolysis experiment, we run electric current through a dilute solution of sulfuric acid. The current is 6.00 amps and it runs for a time of 3.40 hours. At the anode in this electrolysis experiment, we generate O2 gas and we generate a volume of 4.26 liters. As far as the temperature and pressure conditions, this is under standard temperature and pressure conditions, STP, which corresponds to a temperature of zero degrees centigrade and a pressure of one atmosphere. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to find a charge on an electron from this data. The relevant half cell reaction that we're going to be dealing with in this problem, we have O2 gas reacting with four H plus ions plus four electrons to give us two water molecules as liquid. And we note that if we look in the table, that the standard reduction potential, E sub zero, for this half cell reaction is 1.23 volts. And let's mention a couple of things here that are important. First is that standard reduction potentials take place under standard conditions, which means that the gases such as O2 would be under a pressure of one atmosphere, but also that the concentration of H plus ion would be one molar. A H plus concentration of one molar would correspond to a pH of zero, which is anything but dilute. So therefore, we recognize immediately that the situation we're talking about here is not under standard conditions. Secondly, is that the reaction that takes place at the anode is an oxidation. And if we look in the table, the reaction in the table is written as a reduction. So the actual reaction that is taking place that we are concerning yourself with is actually the reverse of this, which takes place at the anode. So we have two H2O liquid and generating one mole of oxygen gas plus four hydrogen ions and four electrons. Under conditions of standard temperature and pressure, we recall that any ideal gas has a volume of 22.4 liters. So we assume that oxygen is an ideal gas under these conditions. We'll have a volume of 22.4 liters. So we can use this relationship and the fact that we evolve 4.26 liters to determine how many moles of O2 gas were generated. and we get a result of 0 0.19018 moles of O2 gas. We notice from the half cell reaction that for every one molecule of O2 gas that is generated must have involved the transfer of four electrons. Since we know how many moles of O2 we have, and we know how many molecules are in a mole, we can actually figure out exactly how many electrons must have been transferred when we generated our 4.26 liters of O2 gas. So we have moles of O2, and we know that in one mole of O2, O2 gas, we have 6.022 
times 10 to the 23rd molecules of O2. And we also know that for one molecule of O2, we had to transfer four electrons. So involved in the entire electrolysis involved a total of 4.581 times 10 to the 23rd electrons. So we've determined a relationship between the volume of O2 gas and the number of electrons that were transferred. Next, we used the fact that the current used was 6.00 amperes. And recall that one ampere is one coulomb per second. So this is 6.00 coulombs per second. And we know that there are 3,600, 3,600 seconds in one hour. And that the current ran for a time of 3.40 hours. So by working through here, we notice that the units of seconds cancel, the units of hours cancel, and we're left with the total charge uh, involved in coulombs, which works out to be 73,440 coulombs. From the experimental data regarding the oxygen and the relevant half cell reaction, we were able to determine the total number of electrons that were involved in this reaction, which was 4.581 times 10 to the 23rd electrons. On the other hand, from the current and time information, we were able to work out the entire amount of electrical charge that was transferred, and that worked out to be 73,440 coulombs. So we see that this number of electrons has this total charge in coulomb. So therefore, if we simply divide each side by the number of electrons, 4.581 times 10 to the 23rd, What it gives us is the total charge on exactly one electron, and we find that to be 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19 kilos. And we want our answer to have three significant figures because our volume, current, and time were all each given to three significant figures. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.